Hello again, everyone. Today I am here with some more ink swatching. I recently got from Jet Pens these four guitar series inks from Diamine. I had seen some samples of some of these and then I also learned that these are a special edition and will not be around. They've actually been out for quite some time, but uh, I didn't get them till now, but I wanted to get sort of a good range. I'm not sure if this is all of the ones in the range. I think they had more than four, but I, I'm not sure. But I'll put a link to Jet Pens where I got these and hopefully they'll still be in stock by the time I post this. All right, so as usual, I have my little ink swatching setup. I will put a link down below to the um, details of this setup. There's actually a video where I go through that. And then I'll be using my tools, which I also mentioned in that video, so I would refer you to that for the links to these, which is an automatic pen and a uh, glass pen, glass dip pen. So let's go ahead and put these aside and open this up. I've already set up a page. I have some other blanks on some other pages, but I'm going to save those for one-offs so that we can have all of these on one page. And I actually am going to put them on this page, even though we have some um, bleed through just a little bit from the prior page, but you should be able to see them because I'll swatch on the opposite side. Okay. So, and then I also have some water and a paper towel off camera so that I can rinse off my tools in between the colors. So these colors shouldn't be all that dissimilar to each other. They're all browns, but uh, I have been, I think I've mentioned this in prior videos, I have been really drawn to more neutral colors of late, as you can kind of see, I mean, other than the polar glow, <laughs> these are some more recent ones, which, you know, I, st I still am drawn to really bright blues, but a lot of my colors have been a little bit more muted. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start, let's see, I'm going to arrange these from what, just based on the labeling from light to dark or light to dark to more red. <laughs> let's see if that actually pans out. It might not be that as a progression, but we'll see. So the first one I'm going to do is this Honey Burst ink. And these are the smaller bottles. I generally get the smaller bottles when I buy diamine inks because um, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the entire bottle if it's a larger bottle. This is 30 milliliters though, so it's actually a pretty generous bottle even though it looks pretty small. The exception to the ones where I have the little bottle are, uh, I've purchased a couple of the Blue Series inks which are from the Inkvent calendar from 2019. So, um, but these are all the smaller size. So let me get in here. Okay. Like I said, this is the Honey Burst. Let's get started with the dip pen. The opening is a little bit more narrow on these small bottles, so I kind of have to delicately get in there. Let's see. Oh, that's lovely. That was the thing. I, I had seen these swatched out on various blogs and that sort of thing, and I thought, wow, that's those are really pretty, and I would hate to completely miss out on them if they went out of stock everywhere, so I went ahead and got these four. And diamond inks are really inexpensive, so it wasn't that huge of an investment to get these four, especially in the smaller bottles. They run generally um, around seven dollars per bottle, so it's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive. So this is the Diamine Honey Burst. Lovely. And I was having some trouble with my dip pen with other inks, and I really do think that it was just the inks sliding off fairly quickly. I did check to see if there were any cracks in the nib or in the tip here, and I didn't see any with my loop, so uh, I'm assuming that I either just loaded it up with too much ink for the ones that were globbing out, because this one doesn't seem to be doing that. Although Diamine is generally a pretty well-behaved ink line across the board, so that could be it too. All right, so the next one is Desert Burst. And these are all based on color treatments of guitars, which is kind of a neat concept because there are a lot of really neat finishes for 
guitars. I think I'm generally seeing acoustic guitars in these colors, not necessarily electric guitars. That's pretty too. Okay, this is the Desert Sunburst. And I'm just rinsing that off real quick so we can get from one color to the other without any carryover from the other color. And that one seems to have gotten a little bit around the edge because it touched the edge of the bottle. That is one downside to these smaller diamine bottles is that um, the opening of the bottle is fairly small. Generally, I haven't had a problem with most inks or uh, most pens putting them in there. But if your pen's pretty big, it's not really going to go. So this is diamine. Okay, this one's coming off a little thicker again. Desert Burst. Not to be confused with Dessert Burst, which I don't, that's not a color. I was just kidding. Okay. Although I do often misspell desert and spell it like dessert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one is Tobacco Sunburst. That uh, Desert Burst is actually really pretty as it's drying. Okay, I'm going to get in here with the dip pen, or the uh, automatic pen. And I will put these up close to the camera. I realize I didn't zoom in before I did these, but I, like I said, I will put them up to the camera so you can see them a little closer. This one's lovely as well. That was part of it too. Like I couldn't decide between the different colors because they were all so nice. I really like Diamine inks. Diamine is definitely one of my favorite brands of ink. Partially because of the pretty colors, but also partially just because they, they really do have very well-behaved inks, generally. I haven't really had too many troubles with this ink in pens. And uh, because of the uh, Inkvent calendar from 2019, I don't normally... I haven't, I haven't purchased any larger bottles of shimmer inks from them, but I did have a few in the infant calendar that were shimmer inks and um oh i need to do this on the prior one too i forgot uh and the 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 shimmer inks actually handle really well diamine tobacco sunburst lovely Let me get back into that last color real quick and do the squigglies. Generally, I use the squigglies to put some water over to test um, water resistance. Usually they're not very water resistant unless they say they are, <laughs> but sometimes I'm surprised by some colors or brands that tend to be a little bit more water resistant. Okay, and then finally, this one is Cherry Sunburst, which looks by the label to be a little bit more red than the others, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch out whenever I get bottles of anything here in Colorado because sometimes they'll be under severe pressure because of our higher elevation here. Okay, oh, this is lovely. Lovely, lovely. But really, they all are. Okay, get a thorough dipping of that in the water and then rinse that off. I also want to try and make sure that I don't leave water on the automatic pen so that it doesn't corrode in any way. All right. There's that, and then the glass dip pen for the last one here. Oops, looks like I dipped a little too far. <laughs> Let me get some of that excess off. Okay. So, oop, let's do the squiggle first. This is diamine. Ch 
Cherry Sunburst. Yeah, that one is lovely. But what's so interesting is that these are all browns, but they're all so different and pretty dynamic. I would say there's definitely shading going on with every one of these colors, which is nice. It'll give a little bit of complexity to your writing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you these closer up after I've made sure those bottles are closed. Okay, so there is the Honey Burst, which is really lovely. I definitely think that it is uh, not too light for everyday writing depending on the pen you have it in. And then here's the Desert Burst. Lovely. Tobacco Sunburst. And then the Cherry Sunburst, which is probably my favorite of these because I do tend to prefer a little bit of a warmer brown or a reddish brown. And that's really, really beautiful. But like I said, they're all really, really nice. Okay, well that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos and I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.